What's up, everybody? It's your favorite show, favorite show, Get a Bucket. I'm your host, Train, as usual. hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful day. And as y'all can see, we got my guy, Chris, on the screen. Chris, what's good with you, baby? What's good with you, Bob? Lakers in seven. That's crazy. That's crazy. The whole So we got to go game seven the whole way through? That's tough, bro. That's tough. I mean, look, that's a... That's interesting. That's interesting. Maybe we'll talk about it a little later on. <laughs> Maybe we'll talk about it a little later on. All right, we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my goodness. We got a nice little conversation. For starters, I'm a little hungry, actually. That's why I got my smoothie. You got to keep them things portable, man. Chris, what you what you eating on today? What you eating on today, Bo? Uh, hold on, Chris. Delicious. Strawberry, banana, a little spinach too with some peanut butter. And this protein's um um this protein milk, it's not bad. It's not this protein shake I mean, it's not bad at all, ladies and gentlemen. I'm trying to tell y'all. Why not? He got his pizza. Okay, so I'm eating healthy today. He eating unhealthy. It's cool, at least on video. It's at least on video. That's right. fine. That's cool. That's cool. Well, look, um, as you can see, I clearly it's balanced, right? You know, he got the grease, I got the greens. So on this one, let's go ahead and talk about some teams because I think a lot of these, some people got a little grease, some people got a little green, some people are balanced. But let's talk about some teams, shall we? So we got the Southwest Division, Chris. Um, I think it's best to go ahead and start off with, with let's go to Grizzlies, champ. Let's go to Grizzlies. John Moran and his return. What do you, because we understand, hold on, we understand he's suspended for 25 games, luckily so as well, because he could have been suspended for the season, especially if I was commissioned. That's another discussion for another day. With his expectation now, do you expect to see a more mature, more mature John Morant? Because granted, his issues just happened last season, right? So it, mm -hmm. I don't expect an immediate turnaround. And he also showed that it can't be an immediate turnaround because there were multiple instances last season. So can we expect to see a more mature Ja Morant this season? Because And I asked that because I think I asked you guys last time, um, would Jaron Jackson Jr. and Desmond Bain be viewed as the leader? Because they could be viewed as more mature than Ja Morant. What's your, uh, what's your thought process on that in terms of Ja Morant and his expectations? Are we expecting to see more maturity from Ja Morant now? Or, you know, he's still just going to be this immature guy that, we, that we've seen thus far? Um, I don't know, because when he got when he got his suspension last year, he did the same thing. Mm -hmm. Literally, literally the same thing. So how half of the season is going to show you? Like, are you going? Are you going to come back? Actually, want to be a leader, mm -hmm. or you want to come back? Or you're going to come back and literally do at the same shit. And truthfully, his pops was talking at a, a camp. I was about to say that. So I don't know. I was, Does his, him, his, pop, his pops talking at that camp, so just give a little context. He was basically saying how his team rant was saying how Ja had made stupid choices now ironically i thought some of those stupid choices pertain to your family t but i mean hearing t morant say that it sounds like the family might be taking a little bit of ownership and you know trying to preach to the kid so do you, does that give you at least a little bit of comfort hearing that from t morant or is this still more of a action speak louder than words to you because we've heard john morant and company say things like oh yeah we we're taking a step back. We're going to make the positive th changes. So we've heard his camp say stuff before. Now hearing T. Morant say this to youth at a camp, is that at least positive for you? Or is this still like, mm, it's the same old, same old? It's a mix of both. Okay. Now, okay. now I will credit him for like really had the uh, guts and balls to like actually go to the camp and, and literally talk to the youth. Mm. But I agree with you. Like action speaks louder than words. Like, we hope that this 25 games is literally is going to make you think on your on your choices. Because 
because I don't know because I don't know what people are saying, but the Grizzlies is one of the teams that you do not want to take lightly anymore. Yep. Because you had the um the and the grind teams there from like a decade. Yep. This they have that great grind factor, whole, yeah. This team is a whole different a whole different type of animal. Yeah. They had the talent. They had the experience. They had the veteran presence, too. Um, I will say Dylan Brooks being gone is interesting. Mm -hmm. Adding Marcus Smart and D. Rose does help for John Morant's progression going forward. But I think right now this team, I don't want to say took a step back, but, like, maybe they took a step back. I, I, I granted, you lost, granted, you lost Steven Adams last year during the playoffs. Jared Jackson Jr. took a step up. We'll see how it shakes. But I think John Morant. Yeah, but John yeah, but 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 John Moran, his maturity process is quite pivotal to this team. Granted, they have a good team in place, but in order to be a contender, I think Ja's gonna have to be that driving force. And the off the off the court issues is, is going to take you out of contention. I mean, when you're in the playoffs, you get injured, we see how we saw how critical you were. Then it's a personal matter or personal matters that take you out the game. Like mm -hmm. No one's talking about the injury. We're talking about the stupidity. Mm -hmm. So I'm like you where I'm like, I don't know. I'm It's unknown. Um, I'm also like you, whereas when you said hope, I'm glad you said that. I'm very optimistic. So I'm optimistic that he will turn the corner. And I, can, and I, I have high expectations for him. But I do expect to see John Morant as a reemerged ace of the league at some point in time. Next year might be a little too early to say he reclaimed it. Yes, you did. Sir. It back. But – with, Let me ask you this: Is this his last strike? Um, last strike might be a little tough, considering the fact that he's still a talent the way he is. If he messes up egregiously, yes. If he does not, and it's just like something small, something minor, no. But okay. again, with a talent like his, someone's always willing to take a chance on him. So I wouldn't necessarily say this is his last strike at all. Um, like you know, that is it's it, it it's not like this was. And I guess this is the perfect segue or another segue um, to like the, the Rockets, for example, right? It's not like Kevin Porter Jr. made that move. So, you know, if this was Kevin Porter Jr., okay, no disrespect to KPJ. It's just there's levels to this in the game. KPJ is a good player. He's just not the talent that John Moran is. But, I mean, ladies and gentlemen, that about covers the Western Conference. Um, Chris, I don't know. If you got anything else you wanted to add before we close up shop, but I greatly appreciate you, my boy. And as y'all know, y'all definitely see him. Y'all will see him up here again as well. Stay tuned for the Carter albums to drop. So, you know, we got that coming out of the way. So he got some EPs working on them right now, but we'll have an out coming soon before long. But uh, Chris, do you have anything you want to say before we close up shop? Once again, bro. Thank you, man. Thank you, bro. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Lakers and seven is really aggressive, by the way. I just wanted to reiterate that. That's going to be a really gruesome, tiring playoff. I'm going to tell you right now. But, I mean, hey, maybe if we win the championship and we do it all in seven games, maybe Brown retires. I don't know. We'll see how it shakes. But, uh, ladies and gentlemen, please like, subscribe, comment. Tell anyone who's anyone about the show. My name is Trey. I'm the host of Get a Bucket. Hope you all have a good one. Take care. <laughs>